Okay, what we've got here is a 2008 Buick Lucerne with the 3.8 Series 3. The complaint is a misfire. Let's fire it up. Boy, it's running, but it ain't running that great. Let's open the hood. So yeah, she's definitely got a misfire. So I think the first thing we'll do is we'll scan it and we'll see what's going on. Awesome, here we go. We've got misfire history, cylinder number three, 22,491, and misfire cylinder number six, 22,175. I know that these motors, that one coil fires two cylinders, and I bet that's the same coil, three and six. So two misfires on cylinder number two, that's not terrible. Let's check out that coil. All right, here's our set of ignition coils and if we look right here three and six are the same coil i bet this coil is bad i don't see any cracks in it now it looks like it's got ac delco numbered plug wires and i'm pretty sure that those are only factory like even if you buy ac delco's aftermarket you're not gonna get them numbered and these should be replaced this is a pretty good motor let's move on to checking it i think i'll pull one of these front plugs out we'll let it cool off just a little bit okay here's our ignition coils so let's get this off this is a 5.5 millimeter on both of these that's it that's how the coil comes off now we'll move this coil up so our misfire should show up as far as the car is concerned it's going to now show a misfire in five and two so let's go fire it up and see what happens number three is still increasing we haven't gotten any on two and five yet this is very odd okay so we have a code p0300 engine misfire detected failed current this ignition engine coolant temperature below thermostat regulating temperature so i'm a little bit shocked cylinder three and cylinder six are still showing the misfires i wonder if it could be the ignition module so the module fires these coils right from here so we might have to run some resistance checks all right we got 12 volts there that's our ignition signal on that one and we have 12 volts there here's the spark plug out of number three and it is old probably original equipment but i don't see any signs of damage there's no arcing line up the porcelain the plug wire itself is not in great shape this is silliness the misfire should have followed the coil the fact that it didn't leads me to believe that it's probably this ignition module so i'm gonna put this plug back in i'll hook the plug wires back up should also mention this is our number three plug wire boot i don't see any signs of carbon tracking like it's arcing we're gonna have alex fire it up and we're gonna see if there's spark on that other coil so go ahead alex yeah, she's got sparks. So now I'm 100% sure that the ignition module has failed. It is not firing that upper coil. No matter what coil we put on there, we get no spark from it. It's a really expensive part, so I wanted to be absolutely sure that was it before I just called one out here and we replace it and it's still misfiring. We got our parts here. We got some AC Delco plug wires. We've got AC Delco Iridium plug. We have a Duralast ignition control module. And I'm sure some people are like, why are you using AC Delco plug ac delco uh, plug wires and a duralast ignition module my answer to that would be the warranty so it's gonna have a lifetime warranty this lady comes to us when she has an issue with anything so we're gonna go for the warranty on this one and we'll start removing the the rear plugs first because they're more difficult than the front plugs okay we've got a little bit of anti-seize we're gonna spin in this number six plug and we'll move on to number four after this when we're not posting videos like this on youtube there's all sorts of stuff guys say in the garage when uh trying to fit something like this together we, we won't repeat any of that all right so here we are in the buick we got her fired up after the plugs wires ignition module we now have zero on the misfire counter so that's good you can see those values there we're good now all right so that's it fired it up it runs good remember we swapped this coil no matter what coil we put on the top of the ignition control module no spark at all no fire we went ahead and replaced the spark plugs and wires they were original equipment with 147,000 miles on them so probably a good opportunity to change them while we were doing uh, other ignition components sometimes a bad plug wire or a bad plug could ruin the module so all that's done we're gonna move on we have a thermostat to put in this because the operating temp is running about 100 60 or 165 degrees that that'll be a separate video uh if you enjoyed this let us know leave us a comment if you saw something that i did that was way harder than it should have been let me know i'm always looking for a better way to do something and cut our labor times down so we appreciate you guys watching and please like and subscribe